Well, I was out World Coast Cool 52 Blocks South Fighter Federation. Today's video is about is my 52 blocks official? Is my 52 official? What I mean is on my comments and on my videos and whatnot, I get a lot of um, people saying, oh, there's no 52 blocks in this video. Man, you don't know 52 blocks. I've even been told by a 52 blocks um, expert, master, that I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was talking about. Um, but see, here's the problem. If I want to learn karate, I can go in a dojo. If I want to learn boxing, I can go in a boxing gym. If I want to learn jujitsu, I can go in the jujitsu gym and they will teach me. They have lineage, they have ranks, they have instructors, they have conferences and seminars where they gather together as martial arts instructors, whether it's boxing, jujitsu, karate, Muay Thai, and they learn from each other. They work with each other to help Muay Thai grow, to help karate grow, to help boxing grow, to help jujitsu grow. Well, with 52 blocks, we don't have that. Um, if I want to learn 52 blocks, most likely I have to buy a DVD um, or go on YouTube and look in self-study. Now, me personally, I'm from New Orleans. You know, tomorrow I'm, I'm, I'm living in Alabama right now. Um, there are some brothers down here that know 52 blocks, but they more know it as jailhouse. I ran into them. So, but it's still no way for me just to go into a gym and say, yo, y'all teach 52 blocks? Yo, teach me. I want to learn. You see what I'm saying? So there's a big barrier there when it comes to teaching 52 blocks. Some people only know a few blocks of the system. Some people may know the whole system. Some people know the whole system, but the terminologies are different. You understand what I'm saying? So me personally, out of my own pocket, I work, save my money, and I went to New York to try to learn the 52 blocks, to research on the 52 blocks, to see what to see where it come from, see where it all started. Um, no one helped me to do that. Um, no one sponsored me, you heard me. Nobody did nothing like that. Um, I paid for that whole trip, you heard me. Uh, all about around, we're looking at about four, four grand I spent to go to New York and, you know, buy souvenirs and eat, you know, have a good time. So four grand just to go to New York to learn 52 blocks? I don't know, you know, I don't know. Somebody wants to learn karate, they don't have to uh, put that much money out, at least in the in the beginning, you know, for a trip like that. So what I'm trying to ask of y'all, what I'm trying to tell y'all is, is my 52 official? You know, what do I have to do to make my 52 blocks official? Do I have to go to prison and spend five, 10 years in prison just so I can say, you know, or be I'm certified? I did 10 years, you know, I'm talking about with the 52 blocks that kept me safe, woo 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 Would that make y'all respect my 52 blocks that much more? What about my students, Junior? Do they have to go to prison? Do they have to go to jail in order for you to consider their 52 blocks to be official? It's the question I'm asking because y'all are the y'all are the viewers, y'all are the consumers, and I appreciate y'all watching all my videos, comments. Um, I really appreciate that, whether they're good or bad, you know, so... That is appreciated, but is it official, you know? Is my 52 blocks official? Am I doing all this stuff for nothing? Am I wasting my time? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Leave it in the comments.